Hi, it's Kathy Cress again, and I am back with my YouTube series uh, on my channel, Geriatric Care One. And we have been doing care planning, and we're talking about creating an actual care plan. And we've been talking about interventions, which are the solutions to the problem, because sure, you're Sherlock Holmes, and you're a detective, and you identify the problem, who killed who, only that's not really what happens in older people. And uh, was it Mr. Mustard in the drawing room? That's an intervention. Uh, you've solved the mystery. So um, the, the thing about care plans is you have to understand they're all subject to change. Uh, you know, you might be assisting Mrs. Yates, and Mrs. Yates, uh, you know, you she had arthritis, so you got walkers, you got uh, walkers for her, you got a care provider that was doing standby assistance, but she might eventually end up bed bound. That just happens with old age, and you have to accept that. Mrs. Appletree, and that was our widow before, who lost her husband of 50 years, your intervention might have been to send her to Blessed Christian Church, and she might say, are you kidding me? You know, after my husband died, I don't want anything to do with religion because why would God take him away from me? I'm just making this up. Uh, but she might outright refuse your intervention, so you have to be ready for that. Uh, Mrs. Hurricane, uh, she was, uh, she needed to go shopping because she couldn't drive and had macular degeneration. But she might say, I don't want any care providers. I don't want to pay for them. I'm sorry. So, you know, your best intervention with your grossly realist and everything didn't work. And that's what happens with geriatric care management. You have to be ready to change at any time because people are human beings, especially older people who we don't really see as having opinions, but they have strong ones. Um, you might have identified an intervention that they don't wish to carry out, and that's really important. And a lot of things that you do, <laughs> they're not going to want to do. Uh, so uh, say we have Mr. V, and he has Parkinson's. And you are a geriatric care manager, and he's fallen several times, so that's the problem. And so your intervention is to get him a helmet so he won't have uh, brain damage. And Mr. V is a very, very uh, handsome older guy who likes to look dapper, and he does not think he's going to look dapper in a helmet. So he says, I'm not wearing this helmet. And he's mentally clear he has the right to make that decision. So even though you know as a geriatric care manager he could be much safer and he will be much safer, he has the right to make that decision. He wants to continue dapper without, without that helmet. Uh, and then uh, the family or the third party, because it isn't always the family, it sometimes is the conservator or the guardian, sometimes is the attorney, uh, m may not accept the intervention either. So, uh, this is a famous case, I think I've talked about it forever, but it was really true. Uh, you, you have revealed in your, pro in your intervention a problem that this person, the third party, and the older person does not want to deal with. And this is the story of an older woman, we will call her Sally, and she, uh, the geriatric care manager talked to the attorney, talked to the trust officer, talked to the daughter, the niece who came in from a long distance city and uh, got a complete assessment, psychosocial and functional, and a whole bunch of other ones. And uh, as soon as the care plan was set up and care providers were in there 24-7, she had a G-tube because she had had throat cancer. Uh, she was pouring wine down her G-tube. So the care providers call, and they're, oh my God, <laughs> she's pouring wine down her G-tube. It's really a true story. Uh, everybody's upset. And so your intervention, it turns out, it's her hairdresser who comes in once a week that's bringing the wine. So your intervention is to get rid of the hairdresser, get rid of all the wine in the house. But the third party, and that's what I'm talking about, the attorney says she is competent. She has the right to drink any way she wants, even down her G-tube if she wants. And that's true. If you're competent, you can, can self-destruct if you want as an older person or a younger person. 
And so your great intervention was not accepted by the trust officer, by the attorney, by the family member, and it wasn't even something they told you. You just discovered it. But the third party won't accept it. So there are all the things you might, you know, Sherlock, you know, you might solve, it might be Mr. Mustard, but you can't put him in jail. <laughs> so I will see you next time. You can go to my website, kathycrest.com, and find out more about me, my books, my blogs. I do a blog every day, and I'm doing care planning now, and I will see you next time.